This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video. Today we're going to be playing with the spooky list of the Kalan regionals. That's going to be Gengar, Spiritomb and Eveltal GX. First of all, let us introduce Gengar with the Shadow Pain ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put 6 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX in any way you like. So this is amazing to set up, uh, of course, the uh, GX move of Eveltal GX, the uh, Doom Count GX. If your opponent's active Pokemon has exactly 4 damage counters on that, uh, it is automatically knocked out for just a single Darkness Energy. So that's why it's so amazing. So we're gonna try and get this Gengar up and rolling and uh, just snipe a bunch of damage counters. Not only is this great to set up KOs, uh, the Spiritomb can also help out because with the uh, Building Spine we already got uh, familiar with this kind of a rogue deck with Spiritomb. Anguish Cry can dish out a lot of damage in combination with Shrine in combination with Hustle Belt and in combination with the damage counters that Gengar snipes you're definitely gonna get a one hit KO with of course your Spirit Tomb on Tag Team GXs which is of course something we want uh, there's also Nigel Ego in here and Buzzwall so uh, we do have some uh, Ultra Beast options for of course destroying Picaron with the Buzzwall using Nigel Ego to copy attacks and uh, of course with the damage counters that uh, the Gengar can uh, spread out this Nigel Ego can even one shot a Charizard GX the Charizard and Reshiram so that's gonna be fantastic we even have Mew to spare around some damage counters but also protects our bench and then there's Hoopa for of course the Malamar matchup because Malamar still is uh, yeah around <laughs> I guess and uh, the good thing is that uh, we have a Ghastly here which is uh, if it's knocked out we can search a deck for two Hunter and put him on the bench immediately so early game we try to just uh, put this Ghastly up front and uh, just get of course our Spirit Tombs on the bench to use uh, Anguish uh, uh, to use the Building Spite and while we're setting up uh, getting damage counters on our Spirit Tomb we just let a Ghastly get knocked out and then we get automatically two Hunter out of the deck so we cheat ever Evolution a little bit. This list runs, of course, Lily, Erica, Cynthia, and even Copycat because certain decks do hang on to their cards in the hand and they're gonna have a huge hand size, so that's why Copycat might come in handy from time to time. This list runs Rainbow Energies, which is per perfect for the Spirit Tomb, but can also work out sometimes to just start attacking with a Hunter from time to time. It always happens like uh, at random occasions where you don't have anything to do and this hunter can actually uh, your opponent's active pokemon is poison and put one damage counter on each of your opponent's bench pokemon so sometimes that happens if you cannot get out your gengar other than that, we have Nigel Ego, which can also uh, use the uh, Void Tentacles to put your opponent confused and uh, poison. but most of the times we will try and wait to get this out to use Nightcap. The only thing we want is Spirit Tomb's early game, and uh, there's a one Dedenny in here, because sometimes we do, have, we do have a terrible hand, and with communication we can get it out, get the Dedenny, and uh, we don't brick a lot. So that is the list, just in time for Halloween, the spooky deck. I'm just very uh, curious to see how this rolls. I'm also very excited to see that some uh, one prize attacking decks are performing well uh, at tournaments and I do love one prize decks, I just play them all the time so uh, it's just gonna be fantastic to try this out. Alright, we are facing off against, I, if I had to guess, Quagsire? Oh, it's Arna, it is actually one of my friends here so we are gonna go first and uh, we are playing the Spiritomb deck. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we start with nothing in the hand. So, my good friend Arne, he is uh, probably testing out Quagsire if I had to guess. It's Darkness, Psychic, Carlos, and maybe there's a Hoopa in his Quagsire list. We'll see. This could also be like some Rogue Caldeo version of a deck. We'll see how it goes. Water types, we don't see them often, but we do see them now. Good news is we start with... Do we start with Spirit Tomb? Will it get knocked out? We'll see. So we're just gonna promote Spirit Tomb. The reason for that is that we start first and with Building Spite and uh, Rainbow Energy we will get the first attack of. I do think this is a setup deck which means we can get the one hit KO on the first Pokemon in the active slot. The Hoopas can come in later if they if he has Naga that dials out. Okay. Okay, this could also be Pidgeotto Control now that I think about it. Ooh, very scary. Very scary indeed. So first things first, we're gonna go with the Acro Bike. We get a Lily. Which is not too shabby. <laughs> uh, do we get rid of the uh, Ghastly? I guess so. <laughs> you have a good deck. So I don't know how this matchup goes actually. So let's go with the Acrobike. We get another Lily. What is this? 
Okay, uh, first things first, let's smack this rainbow energy down. This is uh, gonna be Pidgeotto control, which is uh, not what I wanted to see here. This matchup is not good for Pidgeotto control. Actually, uh, this matchup is not good for us. So we do use this, we get Hustle Belt and a Cynthia for next turn. I think I'm also gonna be smacking down this Hustle Belt. And gonna be using the Building Spite. So next turn, we are able to knock out this Oranguru. We are gonna have to be uh, very careful with our energy count, but I'm not gonna smack down this two... Uh, yeah, retreat Pokemon. Although, if you can get out multiple Pidgeotto, this Hoopa can actually be uh, quite a viable attacker. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna wait first and just see if he can get out anything. It is Water and Psychic, so that's gonna be Girafferic. Okay, Hammers already. Ah, that is not good. <laughs> we don't have a lot of energies in our deck, so and uh, the Sniping only works on G-axis, so that is not good at all. We might set up a Ghastly here, Ghastly, mm, two Haunters on the bench, uh, I don't know, maybe we can confuse the opponent. This is, uh, yeah, this is gonna be the Pidgeotto control deck and uh, we might get uh, into this insane lock. This has a terrible matchup against this deck, but we're still gonna play it out. Arna is one of my good friends, so we'll see. Okay, we have another Spiritomb to go with, to go with so we're gonna get this up and rolling. I don't want to bench Hoopa just yet because I want to see if he can get out multiple Pidgeotto. If he has four of them out, then I'm going to get out my Hoopa. Otherwise, we're just going to wait. Okay, what do we get? We get Nigaligo and Energy, which is not bad. So we use the Building Spite. Bam. That is already enough damage to knock out this Oranguru, which is nice. Let's smack this down. Also going to use the Building Spite here. Can also you baby buzzball will never ever work in this scenario, so we're gonna destroy it immediately and see what we can get. Okay, we have a ghastly to work with. We have a Mew. This Mew can actually come in handy quite a lot. We're gonna get this Mew. Yeah, I guess so. We can also knock out our own spirit tombs to take some prize cards to go into the baby buzz turn, but I don't think that is really viable. So let's go with the anguish cry, bam! We get the first KO and we are gonna take this prize card. Bam! It is another Spirit Tomb. So we are gonna set up multiple Spirit Tomb and hopefully we will be able to take a lot of KOs. We just have to. He can use Jesse and James. So the best plan of action is to uh, grow our hand. So one Pidgeotto, two Pidgeotto. That's two abilities. That means Hoopa is dishing out 50 damage. Crushing Hammer again. And it is Tails this time, so we survive, which is nice. So we're just gonna put this smiley face onto Arn. <laughs> there we go. He's using the airmail, getting, of course, the resources to put us an infinite lock. There's already two crushing hammers down, which is good. Jesse and James is also in the discard pile, so we'll see. Uh, this deck can also use Articuno out of nowhere to just uh, destroy our energy, but if he uses that, our spirit tomb can one hit KO it. So I don't think he will be able, he will not do that. Also, this Pidgey scan dish out 20 damage, so I do think we have to stay safely at 30 damage. Otherwise, he might get an attack off to one hit KO. I don't see a Pidgey attacking anytime soon, but you never know. Okay, recycle energy, and uh, we are gonna see Cynthia, the full art from the Hidden Fates set. Wow, I do love this full art. Wish I had one of those in real life. Another crushing hammer coming down, and it is hat. Ah, oh, come on, man. <clears throat> the bad thing is, we only have one energy in the hand. Oof. So, what now? We can no one hit KO this Aranguru, that's not a problem. Oh, triple hammer! Oh boy! Oh boy, what now? So, first things first, we are gonna. Yeah, we have. Do we play Acrobatic? See what we get. Switch and a shrine. Well, that is irrelevant. The shrine is definitely irrelevant, will not help at all. So, for now, let's build our hand and use Building Spite here. And a Rainbow Energy over there to get oh, the one hit KO once again. We're not gonna smack anything down because he could, of course, use Jesse and James twice. So, we need a hand size. Anguish Cry. Bam! Another KO. And we need energies. We don't have a lot of energies, but we only need one energy per KO. Let's get this on board. <laughs> it is a Hunter. Will not work at all. So, we already have. Four, two prize cards. There's uh, two energies in the discard pile. It runs four rainbow, four no three units and a dart. So only eight energies. That means we have five energies to work with, and we need to take four prize cards. The hammers will be very disruptive. Okay, Articuno comes in handy. 
We'll see if he do if he does anything with it. The air mills are doing their work. There's also a fan club in here. Very interesting. Fan club probably to get of course Articuno immediately. Because this list run, doesn't run cherish balls. Come on, crushing hammers fail. All of them have to fail. So we have a little bit of an edge. Otherwise, we could be in a lock. Okay, custom catcher and <laughs> getting this one. We have switch in hand. He does not know that. He does not know that. So that's fantastic. We have six cards in the hand. We have the switch. So we can get another KO if he whips on the crushing hammers. Pelpad's probably gonna put in, yeah, Alan's lecture. I wonder why he's not putting Jesse and James back in. Probably gonna wait until he sets up. Or maybe he's gonna use resource management to get Pelpad back and... Uh, something else we'll see what he get what's a research management he gets hammer only one hammer okay I like that just gonna build up our hand we have a hoopa what do we do with this hoopa only two abilities so far so we're not gonna smack that down we're gonna use building spite to put this at, at three damage counters this one does not need the building spite so we're just gonna use the switch haha <laughs> there you go Arne didn't see that one coming did ya here comes the Anguish Cry. Bam! We're gonna knock out all these Orangaroos. The bad thing is that he could power, uh, he could stamp us and then get the lock on. So, energies, come on. Should have checked how many energies there were in the deck, but I thought this was Quagsire Naganadal with a Hoopa thrown in there, but no. It has to be Pidgeotto Control. Pidgeotto Control can come back out of nowhere. We have a huge hand size, which helps in our favor, I guess. We could smack everything down, maybe the Spirit Tomb as well, but I don't know. I don't have to play against Pidgeotto Control with a deck like this. Just have to be very, very lucky that he's gonna use like the top deck. We get an energy, but as soon as we get an energy, we get a KO. So it actually is not too bad, I guess. We could also get in the lock. He cannot discard the top card of our deck. He could power plant. I will see. We'll see. I think this is looking pretty good. Only three prize cards left to take. We have Spirit Tombs, which can knock everything out. And now, there are four Pidgeotto in total. Four Pidgeotto in total. That means that... That's quite easy here. Four Pidgeotto, that means we're 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 damage with the Hoopa. Oh no! Our energies go away. So, three energies in the discard pile. Five left in the deck three KOs that we have to take and we don't have any single energy in the hand so hopefully we draw into a draw supporter because our hand is looking very very ridiculous we do have a custom catcher we could leave his uh, Pidgeotto stuck in the active although he does run Tate and Liza and other energy so oh boy what to do now okay hammers how many hammers in the discard pile zero <laughs> don't like to see that hustle belt for you as well man and uh, yeah now that I think about it I want to top deck an energy, so might as well use building spikes. He could custom catch again. One custom catcher in the discard pile. You don't want to top deck this spirit to him. Hmm, we could smack everything down right now, but that is not the best plan of action. Definitely not. He could automatically KO us, so might as well smack this down for once. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna smack it down so we don't draw into it and even if he stamps us to three the, These guys have the Four that's already enough, so I'm just not gonna use building spite just yet We're gonna wait and we are gonna pass the turn I guess The bet the good thing is that if we knock all of our spirit tombs out we can use nightcap to copy resource management <laughs> Which could be kind of fun. So we're definitely gonna smack all these uh, spirit tombs down also gonna use Building Spite on all of them. Now that I think about it, we can knock them out all at the same time to activate Night Illegal to use the uh, Nightcap. So that is the best plan of action. Knocking out all of our Spirit Tombs and then using Night Illegal. I think that would be fantastic. We're not gonna smack down Night Illegal just yet because we don't wanna wait with that strategy, but that is the plan of action. If we can get out one Spirit Tomb, knock all of them out and then use uh, the uh, Research Management, we should be good to recover all of our energies. But we don't have an attacker then, but we'll see how it goes. Now we can start using Nightcap to copy like profound knowledge or whatever. But at least like with the research management we can get back all of our spirit tombs as well. So 
that is the main strategy. Hopefully Spiritomb is in the deck, or hopefully we top deck in energy. If he custom catches our Spiritomb with only one damage counter, that is also bad. I realize that, but at least we can wait a little bit. Pidgeotto Control. It seems to be getting more popular by the day. And uh, he's getting a huge hand size thanks to getting four Pidgeotto on the field. Also, uh, the Zorangaru can start attacking at some point. Not that I mind, because we're gonna blow ourselves up anyhow. I think that's the best plan of action. Using Nigaligo to get back our energies and our spirit tomb, and then we're good to go, because we can keep repeating that uh, nightcap time and time again. Okay, Mars. Ooh, no. No, no, no. Don't wanna see this Mars dropping down on us. Because if he knocks out our Nigaligo, our strategy goes down the drain. Okay, Mew is gone. <clears throat> okay. He's gonna use the Stamp Mars combo, which is not good for us. Not good at all. Chip Chips. Where are the Chip Chip Ice Axe? Could be prized. They could be prized. Hopefully we top back an energy here so we can destroy this guy. Every energy counts, except for Rainbow, now that I think about it. Should not have used... Or although we could building spite knock us out and attack with something else. So it doesn't matter what energy we top deck right now. Energy Yeah, energy, that's good. That's just what we needed. Uh do we smack down Nigaligo? He could make make us stuck in the active, so we're not gonna do that. I know how this deck works. 30 damage, 50 damage, 70 damage, 90 damage. Hoopa is irrelevant at this point, so not gonna bench that out as well. Does a hunter and us ganger have free retreat? Should have checked that. Oh boy. First things first, this guy gets a building spine. This gonna, I'm gonna leave this guy at 40 HP, so if we draw a rainbow energy, it's also good. So here we go with the anguish cry. Pitching! Another Aranguru going down. He has the U-turn board and one of the Pidgeotto, so now he can stamp us and get rid of our entire hand. Which sucks, to be honest. He could stamp us and then use Jesse and James, so hopefully we don't draw into the energy, so. We'll see. How many energies? Three energies in this card. That's four in play, meaning we have four energies left. The one we want is benching another spirit to him so we can knock everything out and then benching down Nigaligo and wait for our rainbow energy. Yeah, that is good. All these Pidgeotos are still in town. We don't see Oranguru. Okay, now we see a Ranguru. Only need two more prize cards, but this deck can actually overcome like these uh, horrible situations where you can go from like, oh, I'm winning to like stamp and get rid of the hand and then you get the hand lock with Chip Chip Ice Axe. Which is something we don't want to see. Crushing Hammer, probably gonna be a head. If I had to guess. Oh, it's a Tails. All right, let's put that smiley face. Oh, wait with it. Tails, heads. Okay, we're gonna have to put this smiley face down. <laughs> Sad. And now the, re uh, the resource management, getting everything back. Blah. Come on, top deck energy. Top deck and energy. Good smack down. Ghastly, Hoopa, and Nigelu and custom catch for one. But then we're in a situation where he can just lock us down. Like using custom catchers on Hoopa and uh, we will never ever get KOs anymore. Okay, mysterious treasure. What do we don't want? Mysterious treasure. Could thin out the deck and get rid of a haunter. I guess. Let's get out. Yeah, Spirit Tomb is in the deck. See how many energies we have. Four energies left to work with. That is fantastic. We even have Copycat. So if we draw into a Copycat, things should be fine. So let's get a Ghastly up and rolling. So we have Ghastlies. We have Haunters. Nigaligo is something I want to bench down, but only last minute so this guy gets a building spite Boop. and now we pass <clears throat> not gonna bench down Nike League unless he uses custom catchers how many custom catchers in this card only one maybe there sh there could be two prized there could be two prized right this deck has six prize cards we could give him prize cards if not our spirit tombs are exploded Chip Chip Ice Axe, we're waiting for it. If Chip Chip Ice Axe is prized, this deck has a very hard time to win because he cannot put us in a lock. He could stamp and Jesse and James us. Look at the hand size, that's crazy. If we draw into Copycat, we definitely get an energy. I 
Crow bike? What does he get? Bam! Mars. He gets rid of the Mars. I have a six card hand, so he's not looking for that. Probably looking for a reset stamp. He's almost through his entire deck. All these acrobats coming all at once. Only two prize cards. Come on, we need to find an energy real quick. Hopefully, like, not a rainbow energy. One of the unit energies would be better, so we can save the rainbow energy for the Niger Lego combo to put back our energies. Bell Patch. Mars Mars, okay. I see where this is going. Lieutenant Surge Mars Mars stamp stuff. Okay, he's going on the offensive. Oh boy! Oranguru on the offensive. Maybe we should smack down one of our Pokemon, but we only smack at 90 damage. We do have custom catches still. So we can custom catch a uh, Pidgeotto and knock it out with a uh, Hoopa. We'll see. Still, we still have a hand, so if we chop that copycat, Cynthia, one of those should be fine. What do we get? Another Spirit Tomb. That is not bad. Smacking it down, immediately giving it the Building Spite. Giving this the Building Spite. And now if we knock all of them out... If we knock all of them out, we can use... Nigaligo with the Rainbow Energy. And get everything back. That would be fantastic. Do we smack down Nigaligo just yet? He could knock us out, so I think we have to wait. He could custom catch Nigaligo, make it stuck and knock it out. So, wait with that strategy. We're gonna wait until all our spare tombs are ready. Probably gonna get rid of... <laughs> he could get rid of our uh, Nigaligo with the Mars. He could play two Mars at the same time, thanks to Lieutenant Surge strategy. But there is gonna be a point where he uses like the Chip Chip Ice Hack and there's gonna be Copycat in there, Custom Catch in there and something else that to draw and then he's done for. Because right now we don't have any energies in the hand. If we have an energy, we attach it immediately, so... He can knock out our Spirit Tomb all he wants. There's four Spirit Tomb laughing at him. Okay, sp the stamp is coming, which is not bad. Hopefully no energies. There's a lot of Pokemon still left in the deck. Okay, Herica, ooh. Lieutenant Surge. And there goes the Mars, getting rid of our entire hand, unfortunately. <laughs> no, the Erika. Okay, but it doesn't matter, two Mars at the same time. And now he's in the lock. Now, actually, now we are in the lock. Chip Chip Isaac. So what do we get? Custom Catch, Cup. Oh, he already decided it should be like a terrible card. If it's an energy, he's done for. I think, how does, how does he go from there? Does he keep using Stamp and then hopefully he gets the energies? Stamp and then two Stamp... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Stamp Mars. That is the best plan of action. I should. I agree with this. We got a Ghastly. We're not gonna smack this down. First things first. Building Spite. If we knock all of them out, he can no longer use the... Hmm. What now? Rainbow Energy works on this guy and on this guy, and we're gonna wait with these building spite. We still have time, right? I guess we pass. We have a Ghastly in the hand. Not gonna smack it down, otherwise it's stuck in the active, which doesn't help us out. He's gonna repeat using the uh, Mars combo with the stamp to get, hopefully get our energies. Ah, this is getting us uh, in a nasty situation. Could even attack with Orangaru, but we have four Spirit Tomb to work with. Hopefully he gives us Nigel Ego at one point. Come on. Mars. Getting rid of the Ghastly. So no stamp just yet, which is nice. Chip Chip Ice Axe. Okay, we are still in the lock. Give us something good. Come on, Arno, what are you doing? Okay, he's going on the offensive. Profound knowledge, bam. One spirit tomb down. No longer resource management, which is very bizarre. Okay. I'm gonna keep this one. We're just gonna smack this guy in the active position. Come on, we got a hunter. Well, thank you. This guy gets a building spite. Is he gonna dunk us? 
He's gonna knock out of all of our spirit too. Come on, man. That is not fun. <coughs> chip, chip, ice axe lock. There's still a lot of Pokemon, so he can just keep getting, of course, these uh, hunters and uh, ghastlies on top. And that's getting us nowhere. Mm. Hopefully we get a basic. If we get a basic, now we're gonna smack it down immediately. So as, as soon as he has that four found knowledge, okay, he's not doing anything. No chip chip ice axe. He's going for the kill. He's going for the kill. Come on, what do we get? Bam! We get the Cynthia! Bye! Now we're back. So, at this point, I think it's safe to say we use communication. We're gonna get this hunter back and we are gonna get our we could get out the Denny huh Night League is also so much fun so much fun we could leave us night our Night League stuck in the active but we can just use building spite get rid of both of our spirit tomb and then start using Night League We have the rainbow in hand, so... Building spite. Oh boy, what now? Rainbow energy over there. Uh, yeah, just in worst case scenario, we put this down. We can blow uh, both of our spirit tombs up and then use the nightcap if we find our rainbow energy. Ooh, ooh, what do, what to do? What to do? Smacking down Nigaligo right now. How many custom catchers does he have? Two in the discard. Let's smack him down. I think there's one prize. There should be one. Now we use Building Spite. And next turn, we knock all of them out and go for the Nightcap to get hopefully our stuff going. Okay, what now? We get Bam. A communication. We have Cynthia and Lily in hand. So if we get a two prize cards, we can copy research management and that should be good to go. Stamp again. Brr. Stamp to one. Yeah, destroy our hunter. Do it. Does he still have chip chip ice axe? He was so crazy on attacking that uh, we see this scenario. Hammer. Heads. Oh boy. Very crucial. Mars getting rid. Oh, he has that zero cards. He has to just put the right cards back in the deck. Chip Chip Isaac. No. Cynthia, Lily, and Custom Catcher. Just give us those or something. Only one prize card we need to take. Only one. What now? So, and now he can no longer attack, which means we can attack with Spirit Tomb. Or we can use. Uh, we can blow both of them up and use the. Attack Nightcap. Chip, 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 chip. Wow, he's going crazy on the chip chips. What now? We get. Ha! Custom Catcher. Just what we needed. Bam. And the Danny. And Copycat. Well, look at this. Look at this. Here goes the Copycat for crazy, crazy cards. Look at this. Bam. Woohoo! We still only have one card left in the deck, but who cares about that? <laughs> Well played, man. It was fun. It was fun while it lasted. So we destroy Pidgeotto Control and uh, we are going to destroy him with the Anguish Cry and Spiritomb wins. This was a solo Spiritomb run, but definitely try it out with Gengar against the tag teams to snipe and Evelpa was even prized. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, check out the Town store for your online trading card game code cards and uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Till then, peace out.